final is that that cousin that you don't want to come over during Christmas because they're just really annoying. That cousin that's a total naysayer. And I know a lot of you guys right now, you're about to go ahead getting ready for finals week and life is right now is stressing the hell out. The other day I was sitting down, I was thinking in retrospect, looking at myself and as I was about to take my final, I was really stressed because I missed an exam for one of my classes and I was, whoa, I don't know what I was going to do. I ended up not only failing the final, but failing a test. This was a detrimental, but the most inspiring thing I had to deal with this year because after not only failing over and over, over and over and over again, and it happens the time that I thought it would never happen again. This shows that you can never get too comfortable simply believing. You have to be willing to get uncomfortable even when there's no way that you could possibly believe that there's another way to make it out your situation or to pass or to do whatever that you're trying to do know what to do, I know how to do it, so why am I not doing it? You know what to do, you know how to do it, so why are you not doing it? Why are you simply complaining and moaning and self-pitying and throwing the self-pity party? I threw a self-pity party for me for about a couple of minutes. I felt really sad and I had to bounce back. I had to realize that this moment has not come to break me, it has come to teach me something. And I must be able to move forward with that lesson in mind in order to succeed, in order to use this in my future endeavors. You see, every lesson in life is not just for the circumstance that you're in, but it's for all different stages of life.